We are going to look at some special numbers that have particular names. These are called square numbers and cube numbers. Let's start with looking at square numbers. Here are some patterns using square tiles arranged in a square. The first picture has one tile. The second picture has four tiles. The third picture has nine tiles. We get these numbers as follows. The first picture has one row and one column. The second picture has two rows and two columns. And the third picture has three rows and three columns. We can see that 1 times 1 equals 1. 2 times 2 equals 4. And 3 times 3 gives us 9. Any positive integer multiplied by itself is called a square number. So, the next shape in our pattern has four rows and four columns. Four times four is 16. So 16 is the next square number. As this continues, we find that five times five equals 25. Six times six equals 36. Seven times seven equals 49. Eight times eight equals 64. Nine times nine gives us 81. And 10 times 10 equals 100. So we have now obtained all of the square numbers up to 100. Here is a list of the square numbers. Try to learn as many of them as you can. They come up in all sorts of places. We can write square numbers in a different way using indices or powers. 1 times 1 is written as 1 squared or 1 to the power of 2. A 2 is used because there are two 1's multiplied together. We can repeat this all the way down to 10 squared.